Good morning. Thank you for inviting me into your home again. Obviously, from a different location. We had a wonderful experience in Guatemala. I think one of the highlights was putting all your names into the walls of the new chapel that we're building. The people of God there are filled with faith. I asked myself, how would we have survived without live stream and all the other connections we take for granted here in our community? No live stream. Their heart is in the Eucharist and in the Word of God. They don't think of missing the Eucharist. They love the Eucharist. They adore the Christ. And so thank you for allowing us to represent you with them. But now please take the power of their love for the Eucharist back into your home. What's happening this week? Well, let me tell you what's happening this weekend. First of all, we're going to respond to the needs of the people there as we've done regularly and prepare for the next meal packing event, which we will have on the first weekend of March, the second weekend of Lent. And we need the money. And so we're going to talk to you this weekend at the Masses very honestly and openly about what we have observed and how you can help. We expect the generosity of your love to really help us to raise $60,000 for 200,000 meals. That would be a blessing from God for you and for all of us. Following up the next weekend, we will have Bundle Sunday here. And again, our food drive. We continually listen to the word of the Lord. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked. Anything we can do is exciting for us. And so we're a generous people, and I love you for that. Thank you. Some of the highlights I think that we had at, at the um, experience in Guatemala, going to visit the people in their very, very simple earthen floor, you know, basically uh, leaky roofs, and but love in there, love for the Eucharist or God. I remember one man just putting his hands over and begging of me to touch his side where he felt the pain and he looked so sick. Another woman would not take the anointing of the sick on her forehead and on her hands. She made me anoint the whole arm and she wouldn't let me go unless I did that. The simplicity of their faith or their faith praying over me so that I would not have a, a challenge with some issue in, in my life. That's the kind of people we are in American Marches. So let their prayer flow into your soul as it has into mine, into all 16 of us who went as mission representatives for you. Thank you. I love you. God bless you. And the many other activities, please check our website or obviously the Sunday Bulletin. But more to come. More of love, more of faith, more of the joy of the Eucharist in person. That's how we experience the Christ.